Well, I got some very exciting news for all of us. But before we get into the exciting news, I got this fantasy basketball trade. I have a Roto League, by the way, just in case you're wondering. We're sitting in second place. And they're trying to trade me Devin Booker. Or not Devin Booker, excuse me. I have Devin Booker. They're trying to trade me Nikola Vujovic for Devin Booker. Now, Nikola Vujovic, I expect him to be a top 10 center by the time the season's over. But right now, he's really struggling. Devin Booker, he's not really struggling. He's just there, you feel me? Doing as you expect, but he could be doing better. Should I make the trade or should I not? The reason I like Devin Booker is because he helps me out in free throw percentage, even though he missed two free throws last game. Three points made, assists, and then steals, and all of that a guard can help you in, as opposed to the weak sides I have, which are the center rebounds and blocks, but I'm so far behind that I don't think it even matters. So I'm leaning towards no, but I want to hear your opinion on it. Now the exciting news is that if you look into the description box, you will see Yes, I know it's going to be a whole ton of different channels, but next to the little icon You will see what those new channels will consist of so make sure if you are a loyalty member and any of them Interest you that you go ahead and subscribe to those YouTube channels as well and show your support there as well As we will begin uploading on those YouTube channels shortly as well now We got some new battle royale rewards. So let's go ahead and check it out together Let's view the battle royale program and Surprisingly enough, we only got one new diamond added to the flawless reward and then George Foster is the 90 point program diamond reward Which I found a little odd But I haven't played this game in so long that I do not know whether or not they've started only adding one new world series or excuse me 12 and 0 flawless reward or if they've been doing this for a while now or they just started now in the silver levels I'm pretty sure we just got this new tops now and then a couple of extra silvers now My personal opinion on how to make millions of stubs which you can absolutely make millions of stubs It just depends how deep you invest into this is since most of these cards are going to be collected right now Right this second as we're speaking since a lot of people are going to be racing to complete this program What I would do is I would invest in these cards now as the program is out and a lot of it is being distributed into the market And then I would hold I would hold the cards either for the new collection coming out Or maybe a week before the new battle royale season program comes out because when the new battle royale season program comes out The prices will go ahead and drop again, but seven days before that or Within that time period, the prices should be at a point where you make some profit. So these silvers and gold packs are still very much profitable. You just got to go ahead and actually put in the work. And then we go to the 80 BR program reward. You can get yourself a Rodis Chapman or Bryce Harper, even Canley Jansen. This is the new George Foster that they went ahead and added. Left field primary. Really good contact, really good power. Vision at a 90 is good enough. 88 fielding, that means you get him up to parallel two. He's gonna go ahead and have diamond fielding, which is amazing. His reaction, I'm covering it right now, but it's an 85 reaction. That means you super fracture him, which means parallel five. You get him to 90 reaction. The 52 speed is really his only downfall for an outfielder. But besides that, if he is able to get great jumps, above average jumps, with that fielding and that reaction, as well as an 84 arm strength he's gonna be good enough to be your everyday outfielder unless there are some outfielders that I don't know of because there could be since I haven't played in so long and then last but not least the new 12 and 0 flawless reward is going to be Corey Kluber his 18 strikeout game I'm surprised they went this route they could have went with the no hitter one as well in order to go ahead and juice his hits per nine to 125 but at the same time, if they had gone that route, I'm pretty sure everyone and their moms would have literally been complaining about a Corey Kluber that is unhittable. Similar to how that Corey Kluber was unhittable, I believe it was in MLB The Show either 20 or 19. One of those two, I'm pretty sure that we had an unhittable Clayton Kershaw as well. That was one of the first rewards that we got for free. And if you didn't play those MLB The Shows, don't worry you're not missing out anything too much to be honest with you all but let's look at this Corey Kluber 114 hit per nine is beyond a good enough hit per nine then he has a 122 K per nine that is beyond a good enough K per nine as well walks per nine out of 93 home runs per nine out of 90 that really doesn't matter too much since pinpoint really helps you out enormously there and then his pitch arsenal sinker cutter slurve four seam and then last but not least he also has a change up to his arsenal i think that the sinker cutter 
combination obviously is the deadliest combination in the game and then a slurve and a change up the slurve has a little bit of horizontal break to it so that helps him mix it up and then the change up has vertical break to it so that helps to mix it up and they both come around relatively the same speed so i think he's going to be an above average pitcher probably similar to that Corey kluber that was a signature series card that we had seen in the past in mlb the show now you might be wondering all right so i'm looking at the description and you have a road to the show channel now you're gonna have a diamond dynasty channel what does that mean for this blade miss channel and the answer is pretty simple as you see on the schedule we will be having a new ninth inning program and we will be having team affinity season five coming soon now i will be going ahead and uploading once again how i did previously in the past and upload a video each and every single day on this channel it's gonna be flipping to a mill it's gonna be coming back because in the diamond dynasty gameplay channel i'm gonna have a series called pack champs instead of pack squads it's gonna be similar to shelfies but i'm pretty sure that i'm going to do my best to just make my own style of it but it's gonna be similar because it's the style of just opening packs and equipping the players from those packs and building a team from it and in order for me to make the stubs to go ahead and buy the packs i'm gonna have to start flipping so on a brand new playstation account you're gonna see me go from zero stubs all the way up to 1 million stubs or whatever the amount is going to be. We're gonna be having that three times a week. It's going to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Saturday. But don't quote me 100% on that. And then we're also gonna be returning to pack opening videos. I'm pretty sure the pack opening videos are more like Thursdays and Sundays, something along those lines. And then Tuesdays and Fridays, we're gonna have miscellaneous videos. Miscellaneous videos could mean such things as, hey, new Battle Royale program dropped. I'm gonna make a video on that new Battle Royale program that dropped, such as I'm doing right now. Miscellaneous could be ninth inning program dropped, making a video on those ninth inning program cards, as well as a conquest guide and whatnot. Miscellaneous videos could be as well, I hop into MLB The Show 20 and show you some features that MLB The Show 20 had that this game does not have. I go ahead and hop into MLB The Show 20. I show you guys how ball player or role to the show was as opposed to this. And then videos on how MLB The Show 22 can be improved or how MLB The Show 22 can improve from MLB The Show 21. That's what I'm trying to say. And brand new features they can add in general to MLB The Show 22, how they can fix ball player and whatnot. I just plan on bringing back MLB The Show content. I plan on bringing back daily content, not only on this channel, but on my other two MLB The Show channels. We're gonna have a Road to the Show series as well on the Road to the Show channel, where it's gonna have three different players. You guys can go ahead and check that out. All on Legend difficulty, by the way. We don't do no rookie, beginner, veteran all-star none of that i like playing realistic road to the shows so they're all going to be on the hardest difficulties and then the other channels that we're going to be creating are going to be my 2k channel as well as my my league channel on 2k which is going to have a unique twist to it because i'm going to bring a buddy of mine and then we're going to be doing the 2k videos together and then last but not least i plan on starting with the detroit pistons on a my gm channel for 2k as well and then i have a hearthstone channel i'm not sure any of you guys know what hearthstone is it's a trading card game but that's gonna be coming in the future as well. Like all of these channels, they're gonna be coming in the future. We're gonna start one channel at a time. And then once we start uploading consistently and then having videos backed up and scheduled, then we're gonna continue working on the other channels. That way, by the time I'm gonna be the show 22 comes out, I just have all the channels ready to go and I'm uploading consistently throughout all seven channels, which I plan on even expanding more into because I plan on creating eventually a Blade IRL channel, a Blade Reacts channel and all of that. And the reason I decided to make new channels instead of just putting all of the content on this channel, you might be wondering why, is because let's say I get into the algorithm here for 2K, then a month later, MLB The Show 22 comes out because I was in the algorithm for 2K. Now my MLB The Show 22 videos aren't popping off as they should. And then when I try to get back into 2K, since I most likely would have been transitioning towards the MLB The Show 22 algorithm, I will no longer be in that 2K algorithm. So if I make a separate channel that is dedicated to one algorithm, you will never drop out of that algorithm. And that's a little tip and advice to all future YouTubers as well. Make sure you guys listen to that. And whenever you do want to make a new YouTube channel or play a new game in order to save your current channel because of the way YouTube works, unfortunately, just make a new channel and take the loyal fan base out to that channel. Yeah, it's gonna be a grind since at the beginning, you're not gonna be making any income from those videos if you're worried about that, as well as you might not meet the requirements instantly in order to 
actually make income from those videos but think of it as your first channel everything's a grind and it's only up from there if you did end up enjoying today's content and you made it this far go ahead and comment down below a player you want your team to get this free agency season and why have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed everything you can find in the description i'll catch you all in the next one peace out